Acts chapter 5, verses 40 through 41 says, They, the Jewish leaders, the Sanhedrin, called in the apostles and had them flogged. Then they ordered them never again to speak in the name of Jesus, and they let them go. The apostles left the high council rejoicing that God had counted them worthy to suffer disgrace for the name of Jesus. You know, most of us have, have never experienced real persecution <clears throat> for our faith. Now, we may have faced some opposition or some basic disregard for what we believe in. Maybe we've suffered some consequences for taking a stand for our faith and lost out on some kind of job promotion or um, had a friendship damaged or some relationship altered because of our faith. But persecution? Um, most of us probably have. <clears throat> now, I used to say that in America, Christians are never really in danger of being persecuted. Persecuted. I used to say that, um, but I think I'm actually going to have to amend that. I think it is becoming increasingly likely that sometime, somewhere, maybe not in the too distant future, that not only will we face opposition but eventually even persecution for our Christian beliefs. And um, the people may lose their jobs for holding tight to the Christian faith. People may be arrested for holding tight to the Christian faith and not compromising in what they believe. I think that's possible. Now, in general, how do we tend to regard being opposed or persecute for our faith. Well, you know, I, I think we tend to feel defeated, discouraged, degraded, and so forth. However, what amazes me as I read this passage, when I look at the disciples, is how they responded to persecution. You know, they are unwavering in their faith. They're commanded, don't teach in the name of Jesus again. <laughs> they immediately go out and teach in the name of Jesus. And that's happened all in these first few chapters. We command you not to do it. Who are we going to obey? You, God. That's their response. But not only that, the end of this chapter, chapter 5, this phrase just astounds me. They rejoice that God had counted them worthy to suffer to suffer disgrace for the name of Jesus maybe instead of seeing persecution or opposition for our faith as a defeat as a disgrace we should see it as being worthy to suffer disgrace in the name of Jesus and rejoice for it. Pray with me. Lord, today I ask you to help us stand firm in our faith, to hold tight to what we believe, no matter what may come. And help us to do that, Lord, in obedience to you. I pray, Lord, that for those who are being persecuted around the world, that they would have the strength to do that. And though there may come a time in America where we experience that, we know we're not really there yet. Not persecution so much as just general disbelief. So, Lord, help us. Help us to rejoice that we've been counted worthy to be opposed for our faith. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, hope you have a good day. We'll see you again.